The mount stick out on this side, so now you get to watch me put this up. So I'm gonna move my camera back to give myself some space. So um, for those of you that watch a lot of my videos, which I hope is almost all of you, I uh, did a review on this um, one ton Harbor Freight shop crane, what the rest of us call an engine hoist. And um, it does a great job of picking these up. These are about 433 pounds a piece is what I've calculated. I don't have a way to weigh this. Um, so what I added to this was a leveler. And you know, the sucky thing about it is I bought this on Saturday and then on Sunday I found the one I already owned. But this one's actually a better leveler, so I, I don't feel quite so bad about it. It comes with two chains that are of whatever length this is. But what's nice about this is you can twist this crank um, and this, this knob will eventually break off on you. It's very poorly made. And you can move the balance point back and forth to be able to get this thing to balance. Because otherwise it's kind of helter skelter and it's dangerous. And uh, so, you know, it works really well for this purpose. Maybe not quite that much. But about there looks good. All right. So I really actually need to work on this. So the only way to do that is pull this out. this almost matches. It's really close. That is Rust-Oleum Sunrise Red. I had a quart of it left over. I don't know how long I've owned it. Three and an eighth. Three and an eighth. Wow. You know, that's close enough for government work, as my dad would say. You know, let's not do the hard ones in the back. So that's just one of the many things that having a Rage 2 Evolution saw can do. Is it makes it really easy to fix fit up issues that otherwise would require dragging out the plasma cutter and trying to hack a straight line. So, got this nice little chunk that came off. A little bit toasty. Let's see if it fits the way I'd like it to. It does. Awesome. And losing that's just not, it's not going to affect what this is for. Um, what this does is provides a mounting point for the compressor to sit on a vibration isolator. So, I'm, all right, so. Next, I'm going to weld these in position, and um, you know, and it's a good thing I'm talking through this because otherwise I'd weld them down, not in. So they actually need to weld to this. Let me move my ground clamp. All right, and I need to turn up my amps because we're up in three sixteenths to a quarter territory. What I need to do is I need to weld some threaded rod that it'll actually live on and for that I need to come back in. 